In this video, I just wanted to show you some of the high level gamers I go up against every freaking night I play this game. This is Survivors at 3 a.m. So we missed the first like 10, 15 seconds of the round. I hit the Jake and knocked, I think it was a toolbox out of his hands. Um, I recognized he was at a really strong tile, so I just left that. Went and pressured the Feng Min and <coughs> she drops the pallet there. That's no big deal. So I posted a video recently where I was just breaking pallets and just mindlessly not even zoning. And it was a good reminder that I need to work on my zoning ability. So that was my attempt at getting Fung stuck in the corner there. But without brutal strength, I think I probably could have hit that, by the way. Without brutal strength, it was a little bit hard to zone her the way I wanted to. She's got that god tier ping. And so, the way she's playing here made me kind of curious. I was curious why she didn't drop that pallet. That made me very suspicious. So I had a quick look around, didn't see anything. Hanato comes flying out of nowhere with background player, flops it. I get Fung on the hook. And I knew that Hanato was still in the area, so I was like, well, I'm not just going to run away and give them the free unhook. So I decided to pressure the Jake, who, mind you, does have Object of Obsession. He vaults into Killer Shack, so I thought I'd give him a quick little run here. And I'm pretty sure I just bail on this chase right after this. Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. I outplay him big time here. I got that insane ping right there. So we get Killer Shack pallet, we get Jake down. Second gen just popped. And check this out. I, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Check out Hattie here, she takes a hit and she still picks up her med kit. I'm rocking Franklin's and she, she picked it up again right away. <laughs> That's that's pretty crazy. <laughs> so she drops that pallet. I probably should have played that other pallet a little bit. I tr probably should have tried to stay there and bloodlust it. But right here, I recognize that she's in a really strong tile. And um, without bamboozle or something like that, it's just going to take a long time to close that chase. So I just bail. Go here, I pressure them. There's three of them here. I made the right call. I kind of panicked. I didn't know what to do. Should I chase Fung? Should I stay here? Um, I knew that they would want to continue to put pressure on that generator. So I decided to just kind of stay in the area. And I could see the other guy bail out there, the Jake. I think is in the background. We can see him with full health. So we're breaking resources. We're getting pallets out of the way. I'm really happy about that. I know Killer Shack pallet's gone. And I know they're trying to get this corner generator fixed. So I'm keeping that in mind. And this is round two at this tile. And I, when his object of obsession procs and I'm cloaked, I don't think he actually gets to see me. Just like John Cena. <laughs> so here we go. Hattie doesn't get a chance to drop her med kit. So I whack that out of her hand. And I think that killed it uh, eventually over time. Gotta hit it with the Pop Goes the Weasel. Get that gen regressing. Hattie uh, gets that pallet nicely. Maybe I should have tried to block it. I'm not sure. And we've got Hanato here and we're equipped with the knowledge that he's got a flashbang and background player, so I can't just pick up right away. I, I'm not sure what he was thinking there, but I'll take the free downs. And I think that was the first hook for both of them. Uh, Jake Park was off in this corner all by himself. And I thought I'd break this pallet just to get it out of the way. I come back here so they don't get the free heal. I block Fung from uh, getting to that pallet safely. And I know Hanato is in a really bad spot here. I know I can probably just get this pallet out of him. I was right. So I break that. Wait for him to get far, far away. I just turn the other way, pick her up. Background player is a hotly debated perk, and I think it's okay where it's at. I made a video 
on background player, and I actually didn't get a ton of value out of it. I think it worked out to be like 18% of my games, if that. <laughs> so I come back here, and I, I forgot that this pallet was still up. We get it out of the way, and then we pop that. He runs to the corner there. I try to zone him into the corner. My path was probably not optimal there. But we hit Jake. And we kind of, he, he ran back into the gas station. And my plan was just to get him down there. <laughs> the scratch marks, I messed up. I really misplayed this. Um, I was a little too aggressive with that. I knew he'd go for the window, so I was like, okay, well, let's uh, bloodlust this up here. Let's hold shift W to catch up to him. And uh, he, I don't think any of them were running dead hard. So he's out of the game. One generator left. I know they're trying to get that corner gen. They're all at full health. And check this out. I think they misplayed this here. He tries to blind me <laughs> and I just yoink her off the gen. And uh, I think that was the turning point in the game. I think at this point I was like, okay, I think I've outplayed the 3 a.m. survivors. Most of my games play out like this. I play against really efficient survivors with really strong perks, really strong builds, usually on comms, with nothing but generators on the mind. But in this case, I was able to secure 3k. Fung stayed active on that, that last generator. I got Hanato into the basement. I think this was his last hook. Oh no, it was his second hook. But Fung was able to open the door and escape. And... We're going to have a look at their perks here. We'll just wait for that to pop up in a second here. There's that cosmetic I got. It's pretty cool, pretty snazzy. So what we're looking at here, distortion, you know, kindred, blast mine, windows, background player, deja vu, blast mine, very strong builds, strong items. But I've been using Franklin's and I've had really good success with that lately. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know if you want to see more like this, more breakdowns of gameplay. I'd be happy to do more Wraith rounds or maybe some of my survivors. Please let me know.